Hey Gemini, welcome to your reading for mid-month of September. We're going to be getting insight on love and money. We're going to start with money and then we'll move on to love. I just want to say um, I've just been sitting in so much gratitude for everybody. Thank you so much for watching these videos, for liking, for subscribing. Uh, this reading tarot just makes my heart beat, you know, I love it. So it's just confirmation that I'm reaching people and that, uh, yeah. That it's there for a reason that feeling that impulse the compulsion the compulsion to read all right you guys starting with career gemini energy career for mid-september thank you we're only taking flying cards take it if it resonates and empowers you leave it if it doesn't we have um great gemini energy coming out with a chariot card uh if there's something that you are going for uh, in work um, that you feel passionate about. It might be creative. It's something that you feel, I was just saying, heartbeat, something that makes your heart beat doing what you, you love, that you might feel um, maybe a little overwhelmed by the thought of um, you are going to successfully be fighting off any doubt and competition. You are moving forward very quickly in it. Congratulations. Let's get some insight on that, okay? So we're starting with this um, this is, could be an offer coming in towards you or you are going for it, but it's in the realm of maybe the arts. Uh, it could be light worker work, it could be musicians, you know, in the, in the realm of music or art, but it, it doesn't have to be in the arts. It's just something you feel really kind of excited and passionate about. There is competition possibly. Um, you might have a little bit of conflict in that area that sends you inside. It's really important to know that in what you're doing, if there is anything that's worth doing is worth some of the, the crap you got to deal with. You know, it, everything comes with its own baggage. You know, everything comes with its, this, the sidebar of competition or conflict um, intimidation or administrative work <laughs> put that in the same category just know that you are on the right path with the wheel card coming out upright it's telling you that no matter how many times you check in with yourself if there's ever a time of doubt um, and you go into that quiet introspective place of checking in with your intuition and your inner wisdom about am I on the right path yeah you are the answer is just going to keep on coming up yeah, you are. Because whether or not you are um, having a good week or a bad week in work, would you change anything? You you want to be doing this. You want to be going after this. Even if you're in the small phases, the younger phases of this passion or this career, um, keep going. Two of Pentacles. You might feel a little little cloudy overwhelmed with what decisions to make moving forward planning the next couple of weeks planning your october and your november what is the year going to look like um, we've got six of pentacles it's a really great sign that there will be it'll be generous to you oh slippery little devil king of cups so i do feel like you are surrounded by other creatives or other people who are just as passionate as you are uh, you might have a mentor, um, and if that's the case, I do feel like they are a good choice. They are a good choice because they are leading you in the right direction, and they are, um, it, now this, if this is not a mentor, this is going to be somebody who inspires you, and just latch on, like, this is a good energy, and um, they're going to be very generous with their time and their effort. They see great potential in you. Uh, we have our Gemini ruled chariot card. This is fast moving energy. Despite all odds, in any any conflict can't hold you back. You know, it's symbolized with it's the tenaciousness and the, the forward momentum is symbolized with the black and white phoenix right there, or sphinx, excuse me, and grabbing on to that yin and yang despite all odds, just like moving forward, hurtling over anything that might be a bump in the road not going to stop you which is great energy ah there's going to be a let me let me see one sec uh-huh 
you're going to do things your way and nobody's going to be able to, to tell you how to do this. Which is interesting because I do feel like you have voices or pressures around you, but um, you're successfully fighting that off in the next card that follows this. But you have, oh, you got the queen of you got the queen of swords on your side. But this is, I'm going to say, in some of your scenarios, the queen of swords represents the rules of the game. What you're doing has solid rules. Uh, this, you know, this is kind of the orthodox way of doing things. But also, this um, Hierophant represents institutions, it represents um, a set of beliefs. And this is kind of moving forward within those, the, those parameters, okay? And we have Seven of Wands, the Sun. So you are, if you have any doubts about this, if, if anybody else has any doubts, they just got nothing on you. You're moving forward, like the sun is shining on you. You're meant to be doing this and you can feel it. Um, and people can see it. That mentor energy that you have, the king of somebody who's a little ahead of you in the game, they can see it. We've got queen of pentacles coming out. What's this queen of pentacles? Ah, you do have support. I do think you have support from a loved one, a partner possibly, uh, about this. I do feel like they are there kind of rooting you on, um, even on days if you don't feel like it, but I do feel like you know it. Yeah, you guys, this is a really cool, positive career reading. Uh, feel free to leave me a note in the comments. I know that you all are going through different things, but if this resonated, there's a reason. Tarot, now I'm gathering the cards right now and we're going to give it a good shuffle and then we're going to give you your love reading. And while I'm doing that, if this did resonate, please show me by liking it. Um, but I was going to say tarot, tarot is interesting because it's an introspective tool. When things resonate to you, that's because you know them inside. Tarot didn't tell you them and you agreed like, okay, I'll go with it. No, when things resonate, whether it's like an aha moment in your head or in your heart or your arms start to ache, whatever it is for you, that's because your body's like humming with that vibration. Like, yep, that sounds good. So pay attention to that. Um, all right, so Gemini and Love. You know what, I wanna use these cards. I pre-shuffled these with you um, in mine. I'm gonna give them one more shake. And a knock, knock, knock. Let that love in. Messages for my Geminis for mid-September. 2022, yeah, they're all red brain. Taking flyers, if they fly out in reverse, then we read them that way. Strength card, this is Leo energy. This is big strength card. Whether you're in a couple or you are single, I'm going to try to interpret this in both ways. That one flipped in the air. So um, there's a lack of uh, message coming through or communications, a lack of communication that's somehow making you feel stuck inside something. That's why the strength card was the first card that flew out as well. And uh, we'll get some clarity on that. I do feel like you might have been with the six of pentacles and the, um, the five of swords. I do feel like there's been a little bit of conflict. You might have felt slighted, like you were really generous with your time or energy in the past, um, but it has, it, it wasn't, it wasn't, balanced it disappointed you um why are we getting the strength card strength to move on what is this eight of swords uh-huh feeling stuck with the knight of rods this is somebody who's attractive somebody who's fiery confident and one can be swept up in their confidence but something about this individual is making you feel stuck this is Two cards that fly out. I would be surprised if the devil card came out. But we have sexy good times and victory. Uh, interesting. I want to know in what context this is. Tell me a little bit more, please, about my Gemini's. Knight of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> you guys might have a choice on your hands. You might have actually more than one suitor here. 
somebody who's really attractive and desirable in one way. Um, who's this Knight of Swords? King of Pentacles. <laughs> Got all these people. What have you been up to, Gemini? Um, you might be stuck in a choice. The Empress. <laughs> I feel like you've got like people fighting over you. That's not a bad situation, really. Um, you're looking mighty fine to a lot of people. And this is like an attraction that is in you. It's natural. And that's one of the things that is so desirable about it. You seem very abundant in these naturally attractive ways. And I do think that you've been a magnet to, to these other people who there's some conflict, there's maybe some fighting around you. Maybe a part of you enjoys it, but in the end, it's, you're kind of in a stuck position with it. Um, there's not, now this is an interesting card. This is Ace of Swords, and this is usually a message, an idea, a realization coming through. This can be co direct communication, but you got it upside down. So I want to ask the cards, and with a different deck, one that's fresh. So we have all the cards um, at our beckoning what this message is that's not coming through for Gemini, because I feel like it plays a big role in love. Gemini, in love. Eight of Pentacles, hard work. So, so this is a lot of work put in to um, something that had a hard ending. Something had a hard ending, something like a rough ending. Um, tell us more about this message not coming through, this realization, whatever it is. Nine of Cups. Bear with me, you guys. So really, it just got very dynamic. And I want to, and I want to get this right. You got the Strength card coming, and again. I think one of these suitors, one of these people here. Whether you're single or you're together with somebody, there's this aspect of you put so much hard work into this person and this relationship at one point that there's still, I was talking to Virgo about this recently, um, that there's still these threads attached to it. And um, what you might not realize is that the threads are more attached to the work you put in. The threads are actually attached more to you um, than they are directly to the person. You're actually quite happy now, and it was a hard ending. What you you came out a butterfly though, and um, you're stronger for it, which is one of the reasons you're getting the strength card. But there's still these threads attached to that, despite the hard ending, and it's the journey that you went on yourself. There's a connection there. And so there's a realization that is waiting to happen. There's either a communication that is waiting to come through or, or a realization for you to have there. Um, I do feel like it's somewhat contributing to this stuck feeling. You've got a lot going for you, but again, the first card was strength, right? And that's about that inner strength, about that inner knowing and tapping into something that's um, deeper inside. And that's gonna be the challenge is about moving on, okay? So, we have, uh, yeah, so we've got kind of a theme here. I do feel like um, in a lot of your cases, this is not gonna be everybody, but you know, like when my arms hurt, that's because there's pa there's a lot there, there's passion, there's disappointment, there can be um, just kind of like that life ache, just going like life is big and life is overwhelming. And I think for some of you guys, you had to be the queen of swords, which is that energy is, harsh drawing boundaries and uh for probably for a good reason but there is somebody that um felt that they had to be that harsh with their words and their boundaries in order to get through to this and bring it to an end but we have um two of pentacles it's still playing a role in your head it's still taking up real estate in your head. Okay, so let's ask the cards, you know, I'm gonna put these back in and I'm gonna ask a fresh deck, what do you do about this, right? What do you do about this? Because life is beckoning. It's time to move forward and you've got other people beckoning quite literally. And this could be for you, those of you who are partnered up, this could be um, kind of getting in the way of your partnership. But what do you do about it, Gemini? 
how do you, you know, the eight of swords, right? Again. Okay, so we're starting off that question with what do you do about getting being stuck, right? So tarot is going to be real clear with me. I sometimes ask the tarot, can you please just like spell it out like I'm a kindergartner? So it's spelling it out. Okay, so about being stuck for our Geminis, what do we do about that in love from mid-September 2022? Got a lot. All right, spelling it out. So about, the, about a soulmate. Okay, the full card upside down. One sec. Oh, Knight of Cups. Consider. Ooh. <sighs> I think you've got a soulmate already here. You've got somebody you're, somebody's going to be coming through. So keep on doing what you're doing. Be that chariot card in your love life. Um, allow this realization to come in. Allow yourself to meditate and consider those threads. Are they really attached to that person? Or are they actually attached to you and who you were and what you battled through in order to close that up? So you've got somebody coming into the picture. This might be different than the other ones. Um, they're charming. There's something about them that's youthful, pretty sexy, romantic. Um, they could be, you could actually have, um, your passions could be in, in the same. Like if you, let's say you love making pottery, ceramics, they might love making ceramics too, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. So what sometimes we don't realize, this is like kind of the psychic part of us. We don't realize that we are creating the, um, the garden for the seeds that are going to just naturally float and land there, right? Like right now, what you're preparing yourself for, you know, allowing that message to come through, um, allowing yourself to be desired and then check in with yourself and recognize that, no, you just feel kind of stuck with something. Working through all that, you are like tilling the soil for a beautiful garden you've got somebody coming in with like a huge love offer and i do i wouldn't be surprised if they want to take you out to dinner they want to kind of uh, with that ace of pentacles they want to give you a gift or something maybe just even compliments but they are your person you're getting them with the two of cups you're getting that you might not have to alter yourself go on a huge journey start all over you'll you know for this person i think they're going to care about you just the way you are and um anything else and that i feel like held you back in the past that is what kind of got you in the past and then we finish with the chariot card again what did i say you guys be the chariot be the chariot move forward keep moving and if you feel stuck you know fuck like just recognize oh okay i feel stuck where there's that feeling and let the messages come through right turn that upside down and let the messages come through i love you guys and i will um, see you soon for your weeklies i'm doing these one minute weeklies so keep your ears peeled for that um eyes and ears and then i'll have your october readings out soon take care